All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're talking about Diddy again having a thousand bottles of baby oil. Baby oil? What's going on here? Um, we're gonna we're gonna tap in to never give up. He's uh listening to uh, academic speaking the whack one hundred about this whole thing. And whack one hundred brings up some good points and he breaks down some things. Um, this is the six o'clock show. So make sure y'all go watch the twelve o'clock show. Make sure y'all go watch the eight o'clock show. You know what I'm saying? Twelve o'clock show. People were saying Kendrick made the first mistake. Make sure you watch that. And Make sure you watch the uh, 8 o'clock show where uh, Judge Joe Brown breaks down uh, Diddy's, uh, uh, Diddy's uh, charges. So, look, we're going to get into this video. Let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me earn your subscription today. Also, all the beautiful single ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know what find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content that's absolutely free. If you want to leave a donation, link's on the screen. Cash at PayPal's in the description. Let me know where you from. I right, called me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 10,000. And yeah, so let's get it, man. <laughs> let's get it. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Hold on. RB, go get me the baby, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hey. You, Yo, listen. You, you know what's fucked up? It's no law against having baby oil, you, bro. By the way, you you in the wrong you you in the wrong business. You in the baby diaper business. You should get in the baby oil business. You could have been wholesaling to Diddy. But what I'm saying is, why people take how how do you know the baby oil company didn't just ship him a bunch of goddamn boxes of shit just because maybe maybe they hoping one day when he's preparing himself he shows that why everybody got to look at that shit like it's about the shit, bro. This shit is crazy. That's illegal about baby oil. Nah, we gotta kill the man because we be doing it to our own people, bro. Well, they also said lubricant, so we thinking KY jelly too. Yeah, I can agree with that. Why do we always do that? I don't understand that. And I think that even though Diddy's a monster, he still he still has rights. And we already know how the how the uh the feds move. They love to uh I'm just gonna say they love to play dirty. Yeah, but they but they never see you notice that they never it could have been one thing a lubricant, which majority of people have some form of lubricant for whatever reason. Right? They never said how many how many bottles of lubricant or how many tubes of lubricant, right? You know they never said that. They said it was a thousand bottles of baby oil and lubricant. They never said how many things of lubricant, bro. But end of the day, I sent Jason Lee eight thousand pieces of diapers, bro. Oh, all right, bro. right? <laughs> but, come on, whack. Yeah, bro, I sent him this <laughs> shit, bro, so he ain't got no babies. <laughs> well, hey, if the feds came in, they would probably think he doing something else. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's where the bullshit is at. It's nothing illegal about having baby oil unless the baby oil is diluted with some type of drug or some type of shit, man. Let's kill the motherfucking baby oil you think, bro. Come on, man. God damn that shit. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, I think that's a reason. I, I do think that they put the the baby oil to to jump off the page to make him look like a freaky sexual God deviant sake. that was that constantly had sexual. You know, again, you're right. Baby oil isn't necessarily a, like an item that could be used no, no, only in sex. I went, bro, because they keep using this word "freak off," right? <laughs> yeah, and and I'm I'm getting tired of that word too, right? Why? Because okay, I went to Google. I said definition of freak off, right? It says uh, African American binocular to masturbate or ejaculate or to have wild or unorthodox or unorthodox sex. So that's four things. I'm guilty of three of them. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm a convict. I have definitely masturbated and ejaculated, and I've definitely had wild sex with my woman. Now. I don't know what unorthodox sex is. I didn't look that up. What is that? Uh, well, I, I think that is the. Um, Are you not guilty of a freak off yet? Cause I, I mean, I. I, 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 well, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> Day. <laughs> we all, we all, we having freak offs. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> 
had a threesome. I, I've had a threesome. Okay, I don't think that's a freak off though. Nah, nah, freak off ain't uh, no, no. A freak off ain't a threesome. A freak off. I right, pull out this. This is what I I think a freak off. That ain't what the definition says. I yeah, some nigga made that up. We know what a freak off means for Diddy. No, he's I in know. the cook. Uh, bro, see, this is what I mean. What they be doing, bro? Like this is why this is what I mean by what academics be doing. They 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 replace things with their own definition. That's not what it said. The man literally read it to you, and you saying some nigga made that up. What are you talking about? No, dog. <laughs> chair. He's in the cuck chair, on. and he has sex workers plowing his woman. Hold on. Listen to me. Okay. So we going to say Adam 22 has freak off. Him and his wife fuck bitches every week. Yep, 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 but it's contractual. If they were doing that recreationally and one of them still it does, what do you mean? All right, let me ask you a question. It, it, you know, you know the whole Ti and I don't Tiny think thing. Nobody that was in those rooms naked was forced to do shit. Okay. All right. Well, I, I don't think a freak off is. That's that's. <laughs> yeah, we gonna see where this goes, cause uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Let's see. It's inherently illegal, but. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you have a sex worker, I think that's like the basis of a freak off. Like, come on, you have a you've hired a sex worker. Okay, hold on, act now. Yeah. See, tread lightly, tread lightly, because you yourself has said I was over at the bar. The bitch was entertaining bad. I gave the bitch a couple hundred and asked if she wanted to come back with me. Hell no. <laughs> Like, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. hell. Yo, I'm like Bobby Schmurter. We not pay for vagina. Nuh uh. Mm -mm. Nope. Yo, listen. We all pay for pussy in some way. Well, well, well that's okay. hundred percent. That's a hundred percent facts. I don't know why you niggas always say that. We all pay for seeing some type of way. I don't know why y'all always say y'all don't. Stop the cap. You niggas know y'all do. You know you do, whether you paying for it through a date or you paying for it through just paying for it, one or the other. And to be honest with you, I would rather pay for it and just have it than actually pay for it through a date and don't even get it. To the movies, okay. to a dinner, and you pay for the room, you pay for some pussy. Okay. Well, so are we on. establishing that you have to know or be with somebody for a certain amount of time? So when you have sex, it's not considered that. Yo, I mean, motherfucking act, bro. I mean, bro, you done went to the club. They come back Whack. from the club to the room, and you hit. Whack! I'm not gonna lie. You running a oh. mean? You're right. The thing is, and another thing too about academics. A lot of them, what they do is they don't want to um, engage in a, a, a healthy debate. They just want, they listen to respond. They don't listen to actually debate or to, uh, to learn, I would say. They listen to respond. They don't listen to uh, actually uh, uh, have a, a, a constructive dialogue about this. And even though like this situation is that, but let's keep Now going. you should be on the defense team. Let me ask you a question. So are you trying to say... Nothing sounds odd about the description you heard that a woman who, by the way, we've seen her on camera running away from him. From, supposedly she was running from the freak off. He who, was who? Cassie. He beat her ass, dragged her back to yeah, the room. But listen, they did that to establish character. No, that is an assault. That is a domestic abuse. That's violence, right? We didn't see no sexual shit happening right there. It wasn't like, I didn't see no other tricks. I didn't see him forcing her head down. No, I seen her trying to leave. He came out and did some crazy shit. That's one thing. That's an assault. I don't see him charged with, um, the, I think maybe, you know, they probably put that up to establish character and it's going to fuck you up in the long run. Wait. But what I will say, the things that he probably did wrong because niggas, they get so much money, they live a lifestyle so long, they don't understand. Just because this is your house, your mansion, right? You still just can't do anything in your house in your mansion. If you have a train, and I'm speaking hypothetically, going around with cocaine, pills, and drugs on it, right? Around the party, right? At that point in time, you setting yourself up. Because if any users of these things that you are providing 
end up in one of those rooms and things happen. And then they wake up the next morning or the next day say, yo, what the fuck was I thinking? I was high. I wasn't in my right mind to make the right decision. You just fucked yourself. Let me ask you this question because you said. That's 100% facts. You can't you can't be soliciting drugs and giving drugs out to people and then they take they take it and something happened to them and they don't know what they wake up the next day on the floor somewhere butt naked they don't know what's going on with a broomstick next to them that smell like poop you know be like what the hell you know what I'm saying yeah and and as far as the free call party goes we don't really know what happened in those houses if this if it was tape yeah. But the only thing we can do is speculate. And I think that that's what a lot of people are doing now when it comes to this. Now, I'm not saying that he didn't do anything or he did do anything, but we don't know because we wasn't there. We, we can speculate, but we don't know until people come out and say, and they have videotapes of this. Like he said, the whole thing, and I feel sorry for what he did to that girl. You know what I mean? Cassie, that was messed up, but that's assault. And it wasn't, it didn't, we don't know if it was, if it was, uh, and he's, I haven't seen, maybe I'm bugging, but I haven't seen, I have not seen any, any tapes of Diddy at a freak off or multiple sex or crimes or all this. I've never seen it. So maybe somebody can, I don't know, point me in the right direction as not if, not as if I want to really see it, but I'm just saying I haven't seen it. So. Not to say it didn't happen, but you don't think that they were unwilling participants in those rooms. No. So do no, you no. think that basically he's getting charged for being too freaky? He's getting charged for what they all wanted to do, but because certain things were incorporated, it's gonna make it look like they shouldn't have been doing it. The drug if they if they would could eliminate the drug factor, right? And you come to my house, right? And you get naked. And you locking lips and tongues with this other brawl, right? And I'm hitting the other brawl, and y'all switch positions. And I'm hitting you. There's no struggles nowhere. Nah, bro, I don't see him doing nothing wrong. I don't give All a right. fuck if it's a man, a woman, whoever he doing it with. That's his preference. Bro, unless I see a struggle or I see somebody laying there like, you know, right, okay, okay. So, and shit like that. So, so, so what you're oh. describing is, is, is like sexual assault. All right, so let me give you an example. See what I mean? Like, he's he's not listening to actually learn anything. He's listening to just respond to something. So let's go. An example, because they're saying sexual tra sex trafficking by coercion. Not Number one, there's a power dynamic, right? Because they're saying because he's famous. Yeah, no, well, what they're saying. So the well, bitch showed up to his party. Because he's famous and it's his fault that she wanted to give him some head. No, 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 no. Basically, this they're saying, well, like for example, Cassie would go higher, or supposedly he would tell Cassie. Slow down go, right there. I'm glad you said that. Go ahead. Cassie would what? Cassie would hire the the oh. sex uh, sex workers, but supposedly mm -hmm. Diddy would instruct her to saying get the ones with the biggest dick, and it, it felt like. Maybe she, you know, it's one of those things where, you know. So are you saying that she didn't want to do none of these things? Well, that's what she's claiming. Again, I don't know. She, That's what she's claiming. That is the basis of. 15 of, years. That, that's what she's claiming. Maybe she just loved the lifestyle, so she was doing it against her will to maintain the lifestyle. They still okay, look at that I as coercion. I got a question for you. Okay. Who told Cassie to go suck the dick of the trainer Diddy was paying for? Did Diddy do that too? Now we talk about character, right? Okay. We talking character. Did Diddy tell his girl, go suck the trainer's dick that I'm paying to keep you in shape and behind my back and don't tell me about it? Maybe that was trauma. We talking character, maybe, right? Maybe that's the post freak off trauma. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I tell you, man, listen, listen, ladies. I love y'all. I love you, ladies. I love y'all. But they give y'all, I'm telling you, people make up so many excuses for women. It's unbelievable. I love y'all. I do. <laughs> but that, it's crazy. Oh, my God. I mean, listen, ladies, y'all got to admit that that's crazy. Post-trauma. 
from the sex from the freak offs. <laughs> so she goes to suck out the niggas' dicks. <laughs> Come on, bro. You can't be serious. This is wild. <laughs> Will to maintain the lifestyle, they still okay, look at that I as got coercive. a question for you. Okay. Who told Cassie to go suck the dick of the trainer Diddy was paying for? Did Diddy do that too? Now we talking about character, right? Okay. We talking character. Did Diddy tell his girl, go suck the trainer's dick that I'm paying to keep you in shape and behind my back and don't tell me about it? Maybe that was trauma. We talking character, maybe, right? Maybe that's the post freak off trauma. So how come, my thing is like, how come none of this applies to Diddy? Like, we can apply tr uh, trauma to, 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 to certain people, but to other people, we can't. He just have to be a monster. And again, I'm just playing devil's advocate, right? So let's, let's just say, for example, Diddy may have been molested or anything when he was a child. How come we don't use that? How come he just has to be the worst guy ever because he did some, some crazy things in his life? And I'm not saying he ain't the worst guy. I'm just asking questions. Like, how come how come from some people get the grace and other people's don't? I just don't understand it. Did you just hear what you said? Yeah, maybe that's true. Okay. You never I'm heard a girl say that? that. You never heard a girl say that so she became a hoe. Friend, when she fucked your homies in the backyard without you knowing, was ex post freak off trauma. You said what? <laughs> your ex bitch, while you was in your room sleep. Uh -huh. Who went back there and voluntarily on camera fucked them two dudes in your backyard is ex post freak on trauma. Uh -huh. Or is that just a freak bitch? In our world, act. Let's be real. I mean, I don't know. Nobody I don't know, I don't know what she got going on. I was just keeping it being with So you telling me. <laughs> Yo, this shit is wild, bro. <laughs> Damn. So you telling me. It doesn't establish character. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm playing devil's advocate. I'm oh, playing devil's yeah. advocate because sure. this is how this is looked at in court, right? I'm playing devil's advocate. By the way, you got to realize he got indicted, right? So, like, clearly the grand jury seen, you know, and by the way, there's a shit ton of evidence, right? So, oh, is he in trouble? He's definitely in trouble because some of the shit that we think is in nothing is it is actually something. See, we're all dumb to the law once we start to think we're above the law. You get what I'm saying? Okay, I hate to even ask it, but do you think if Diddy has to stay incarcerated the whole time, do you think he makes it? Um, I think if Diddy could get over the 100-day threshold, if he gets over that 100-day threshold and he believes he can beat it, I think, I think he can make it. If he, if we start seeing. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't think he's going to make it. And what I mean by that is I think something's, I, I hate to say this, but I don't think he's going to make it. I really don't. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't. You know what I mean? He, he's, he's been, you know, all his life he's been. And then again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Suicide attempts and attacks before that 100 day threshold. It's here. This is it. The federal government just come out with some new regulations that allows you to buy real estate with less money down than ever before. Less than 5%. I'll show you how to do it. I don't see him make it. Okay, why you say 100 days? Because after that 100 days, right, I don't give a fuck what situation you in. You start to normalize it. Really? Okay. You get what I'm saying? If, if if they took your cell phone right now, locked you in your studio, right? Mm -hmm. And all you had was that camera to go on, right? To, yeah. For the people to see you to talk to. After 100 days of not being out that cell phone, you ain't going to give a fuck about it. Mm. You're going to be used to being without it. All right, man. Um... Yeah, that's true. That's true. Make sure y'all go uh, subscribe to Never Give Up. Never gave up. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen with this whole situation with uh with Diddy. But I but I do see that he has been denied bail and he's been taken into custody. So 
he's going to be detained. He was already in custody, but he's going to be uh, be uh, spending time in there if they deny bail. So we don't know what's going to happen. Maybe they'll come back and change something. I don't know. But as of right now, he's not getting out. Um, there's a lot of things that's floating around. You don't really know what to believe. And to be honest with you, you really can't believe uh you can't believe the uh the, the bureau either. Because they literally lie all the time. And they make up stuff all the time. And they plant stuff all the time. So again, I'm not trying to shoot um this guy shoot him some bail, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to shoot him no bail, but still in all, like you don't know really know what to believe because they make things out to be so much more than what it really is. And again, we don't really know. So we'll see what happens, man. Y'all have a good night. I'll see y'all in the morning, man. See y'all. <laughs>